Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Healing Path, and I wanted to do a short video uh, about trauma. So, this week I've done my sexual harassment training for teaching uh, that's required ever so often to do an online course and take a quiz. And lucky for me, because I also teach this information in the ethics course, I have a, a better understanding of it more and more. I, I appreciate adding that depth to my understanding of it. Also, every two years, massage therapists have to uh, take ethics training, which can be done online. Uh, my choice is this book, Ethics of Touch, that we use uh, in the, where, the, where I teach. You can do classes from this book. So you re I reread the chapter about working with clients with trauma. It's, and so I want to do a video, video about that because not many people think about coming into a massage session and understanding that trauma could affect how you're experiencing massage. First, I'll say that having a traumatic event and this could be something that you experienced as a kid and something that would not be traumatic to you now. It could have been traumatic to you as a child because I tend to judge my own experiences of trauma within my body. But we have these trauma responses that have physical ramifications, right? Aches and pains, fatigue, um, so there's muscle pain, there's all these physical symptoms that can happen from trauma. And this can be emotional or physical trauma. It doesn't just have to be physical trauma. To share a part of my story, when I was in grade school, I was experiencing bullying. And right around that time, a symptom that I experienced is I wound up getting depression. Now, these trauma responses can stick with us for a really long time if we don't work through the feelings that we're exposing. They don't just disappear. We can numb them, but that's not healing them. So through my own self-care, I've worked with many different uh, types of therapists and counseling and mentors to work through my trauma, my emotional trauma that I experienced when I was younger. And then something happened to me three, four years ago that um, I didn't realize that it affected me as deeply as it did. Now, and I judged myself, why am I having these responses? It wasn't that bad an event. But something had happened to me where emotionally I was going through so much trauma and I was I was teaching at that time and I was reading, you know, going over the chapter and I'm going over PTSD symptoms and I go, holy cow, it's turn it's turned into PTSD. Like I was having nightmares, I was having flashbacks where I would just start sobbing and and it was a, it was PTSD, and I'm like, okay, I gotta deal with this. I gotta I gotta talk to him. I, I gotta go to a therapist. I gotta work through these feelings that I'm having. So, as a therapist, one in six clients who comes to see me could have experienced trauma. One in six people have experienced some kind of trauma within their life. Um, so, one in six people could come into my room and have trauma that's either disassociated or unresolved or maybe they're working through it. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm working on someone. So if someone doesn't want an area worked on, like I don't care if it's feet or glutes or stomach or even shoulders or face or head, whatever it is, I never want to question why. The client gives me a boundary, so I encourage my clients, please, please give me a boundary to follow. If you don't want something massaged, tell me. Um, if you want to keep on all of your clothes or your pants or your bra or a shirt, whatever it is, absolutely do that. It's all about your comfort level. I will never question or judge your decision or your boundary that you make in this room. So first I want to say absolutely, I encourage my clients to have 
boundaries and to communicate with me um, their preferences and needs in a session. So we have kinds may have physical symptoms such as muscle aches and pains or joint muscle pains or aches. And so they're coming in for massage and not realizing it's not just a physical experience. Uh, in my own experience of my body, if I'm having a physical pain and this massage or chiropractic or physical therapy, it's not knocking it out. There's usually an emotional response that I also have to work with if I want to heal that pain or discomfort in my body. It's been proven. Something that's going on with you emotionally could have a physical symptom within your body. So if you're coming to me and and you're not getting the results you're looking for, it could be that you need a different modality, or it could mean that you need to see a therapist or a counselor, or even going to a support group to help you with the emotional side of your injury or symptoms. So knowing that trauma affects everyone differently, affects us emotionally, we could have fear and shame, and it can go into depression, we can pull out of our bodies so that we're disassociating and we don't, you know, we don't feel our pain as much, but we also don't feel our joy and our happiness as well. You kind of, you get numb out and all of those are signs of trauma. And please, with my own experience, please, because <laughs> I did it for so long, please do not judge how, you know, so often we compare. Well, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I didn't have, I wasn't, you know, um, with PTSD it can have happen with rape or uh, terrorist kidnappings or can happen if you were serving um, in the military and so often we think of PTSD just as our, our veterans but lots of things a car accident can give you PTSD there are so many things that give you PTSD so please no judging and so often I'm like I'm weak I should be stronger than this I should not be having this response but please, I encourage you to seek out other help besides just coming to massage for your physical symptoms because there's so much more out there for you. There's so much more relief that you can give. So please, if you're experiencing trauma, you want to heal through that trauma, that there's many different avenues. So there's three stages of recovery uh, through abuse or uh, extreme trauma and the first one is establishing safety so in that case it's not appropriate at any point for you to receive massage because touch doesn't even feel safe anymore and my experience is those people don't even come in for massage or someone gives them a gift certificate and they don't want to receive it and so I never question why someone doesn't want to receive massage it's possible there is some unresolved trauma or abuse that they haven't worked through yet to get to that point of establishing safety so it feels safe to connect and to be touched um, Massage is a form of physical intimacy, not sexual intimacy, but physical intimacy. So you have to feel safe. My job as a massage therapist is to help establish boundaries so you feel safe in my room, <laughs> feel safe on the table. So that's one of my jobs. So I, I absolutely want you to be able to communicate your boundaries with me and I communicate my boundaries as well. Um, so that we can create a safe environment for you to receive massage. So if you don't feel safe receiving touch, that is not the point to be receiving massage and your healing. So you can absolutely go for physiotherapy or something I found very helpful in my healing is I really like the book Waking the Tiger. Now, even though there's some therapists who specialize in his techniques, but it's an audiobook. I, I listened to the audiobook twice. It's it was very powerful as I looked into my own disassociations within my body and bringing back in the felt sense. Um, but there's many different styles of physiotherapy that I have worked with. And you got to find what which one resonates with you to recreate that safety again. So the next stage is remembrance and mourning. Uh, some massage therapists who have extensive training can 
help you in that stage, in that stage too. I prefer and feel more comfortable with my level of training at the moment of recording this if you wait to stage three, which is reconnection, reconnection with your body. So even uh, I do this with all my clients. If I see a muscle twitch, did you notice that? Um, I felt the tension release in this muscle. Did you feel that? What are you feeling? Tell me what you're feeling to reconnect you back into your body. So that's the stage that I accept clients back into my practice and to touch. There are some massage therapists who have a lot more training with trauma that can help you in stage two, but wait to stage three. So even I work with uh, veterans. I give a, I, I have I work with many veterans and I also give away massages to veterans every year as my way to give back to the community. But even then, I require that they have worked with a therapist through the, the trauma that they have experienced. And um, although not all veterans have PTSD, I have yet to meet a veteran who did not have some form of emotional trauma with with their service. So I want my clients to have already worked through those stages uh, <laughs> before they come on the table because I don't want to re-traumatize anyone. That can honestly happen on the table. You can get re-traumatized if you were not ready to feel safe on the table with touch. So that's my experience. Like I said, Waking the Tiger, great book. See a therapist. Um, Something that 2020 had, and many, many things that had taken away from me, uh, is away from all of us. And, and I want to, and this is a great time to say this because 2020, like they say, you know, one in six people have experienced trauma. I would say 100% of the people coming in my door right now have experienced some level of of trauma from this year. Just not feeling safe and being able to control if you can go to work or if you might get sick or your financial stability creates an emotional trauma I, in me, in my experience, right? So for me, I think everyone coming in is experiencing emotional trauma. But something 2020 also affected me is I was so looking forward to this uh, massage class. The World Massage Festival in 2020 was supposed to be in Indiana. And as you can imagine, it travels all over. I'm like, yes, it's close. I don't even need to get a hotel. It was, you know, I think just like an hour drive or something. I was so excited that there was a class on working with PTSD clients, especially with, um, with veterans there and that didn't happen but hopefully in 2021 i can finally take that class and i'm hoping i don't have to go down to florida to take it where the teacher is located but i'm i'm very hopeful that maybe in the end of uh 2021 i'll be able to start taking more classes again because i love learning so i'm continuing to learn more so i can better and better help my clients uh, maintain their boundaries, create safety, and also just really, you know, helping myself and, and helping myself also helps my clients. So thank you. Hopefully this video isn't too long, uh, but thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comment before or send me a message and like and subscribe. <laughs>